Happy Good Friday. Mayor Dan Pope with a weekly update. Let's start this week with council meeting on Tuesday night. We had a chance at our meeting to celebrate Matt Dawson's retirement. Matt is our firefighter who was seriously injured in the tragic accident in January of 2020 that took the lives of uh, firefighter, Nick, uh, excuse me, Eric Hill and policeman Nicholas Rania. Uh, Matt has battled very uh, hard. He's shown a lot of courage. Um, he will not be able to come back to work on a daily basis. Uh, he's able to take uh, disability retirement. Uh, he will be volunteering uh, with our academy classes at, at uh, Lubbock Fire and Rescue. And we got to celebrate uh, Matt and Chanda and Presley, their daughter, and had a lot of the members of Lubbock Fire and Rescue there and community members there. It was a, um, it was a great event. We're really proud of Matt and we'll always consider him one of our own. We also that day celebrated the 90th uh, anniversary of our local VF, VFW post, and we honored some uh, high school athletes, the girls' uh, basketball team, state champions at Lubbock Christian School, and some wrestlers at Lubbock High, including a two-time undefeated wrestler that uh, had won his second straight uh, a state championship. We got an update about our libraries. It's a short update. It's something to watch. A lot of great things going on. Uh, Stacy McKenzie's doing a really good job uh, leading that that effort, and uh, uh, I was pleased to get her report. And finally, we got an ARPA. We spent some time on ARPA, and we'll do, uh, spend more time on that in next week's update. Also this week, I had a chance to go to visit True North Steel in Lubbock. Now, that's the old Beck Steel on the north, si north side of town at the, where the interstate and the north loop come together. And Beck Steel's been at our community for a long time. They closed last year, and True North came in and bought that operation and employed many of the same people that were there before. True North is a, a family-owned private company from Fargo, North Dakota. We're glad to have them in our community. Uh, they're close to the employment level they were when, uh, when Beck closed, and we'll be there by the end of the year. So welcome to those folks. Remember that this is Water Conservation Month. You can go online and do your water pledge at, uh, or yeah, your take your pledge at uh, mywaterpledge.com if you do so. And we win, uh, you have a chance to win some prizes, but just focus on water conservation. We're on the right track. Let's keep on keeping on when it comes to that. Next Friday, uh, that would be the 22nd, uh, first ever Earth Day on Broadway, uh, uh, downtown, a lot of fun, festival, uh, food trucks, music, uh, booths, uh, fun for families, kids of all ages and adults. Uh, you might wanna check that out and get more information on the city website. Don't forget that the marathon is a week from Sunday. If you're going to run the marathon, you hadn't started training, you need to start doing that today. Seriously, you can sign up. Marathon, half marathon, uh, 5K, and a kid's fun run. Uh, we're going to have a, have a great event. And finally, uh, happy Easter. Uh, I hope you have a, uh, a wonderful weekend, um, and I look forward to talking to you next week.